right, it's Valentine's Day. Maybe you're planning a dinner for two with the rain pounding down and the fireplace going. Well, Esther Pierre has just the thing. She is in for Melinda Murphy today, and she is at Serenade Restaurant learning some meals. Well, you know, we're talking about food to put you in the mood. And boy, were you in the mood when we left you last hour, Esther. What <laughs> up with that? It's all under control now. It's all under control now, okay. are. Did you get your voice ready because you did not sing for me? I did. Oh, I did. Are you singing? Uh, I guess I was so much. I, you know, I can't sing that particular song. I don't know why. Okay, we won't, we'll skip the singing. But anyway, as you said, we're here at Sarah Nate's uh, restaurant in Chatham, and the owners, the Gee, owners, right. James Co and owners. Nancy Laird. I own 51%. Yeah. <laughs> no fighting, no, no fighting. No, but anyway, not us. we're here today because it's Valentine's Day, and we hear this is the best restaurant in New Jersey to find out. You know, what foods can put you in the mood for love? How fitting to be here, because Serenade, it's an evening love song, that's right. as okay. you know, right? Yes, that's right. It's and, a very romantic and spot. says my the secret ingredient in all my cooking is love. It's love, yes. Okay. And, and that's when you sing, when I cook this beef, how gentle and love. Where's the beef? And, and <laughs> there it is. There it is. Everything that you do. We have a no, beautiful, come on. Now, let's beautiful be tenderloin. James? Oh, really? Beef serious, yeah. is going to put me in the mood for love. It's it's also the garnishes that we're, we're going to base roast garlic on there. Okay. And a little bit of spicy pepper, you know, and right, these things right. all... Jane, garlic all is not going to put me in the mood for love. They're all stimulants. They're all... They, they, you don't they know. You're going to need a little mint on the side. Yeah, it's right. all, <laughs> they help with the all right, let me let you cook. Flow. Tell me, what are you going to okay. do with this big nice, piece? Nice, beautiful piece of meat. We're going to cut a small piece so you'll okay. be able to taste it by the time we're done. Right. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to crush some peppercorns. We have fresh different peppercorn, fresh peppercorn. black and different white colors. and pink and purple. Oh, look fresh at that. Corn. You just crush it. With the back yeah. of the pan, you know. Cool. Smear it on there. One of those trade know? secrets. Yeah. You don't need those things. A little sea salt. Beautiful, sea salt. Beautiful, nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. You know. Now, why the sea salt? Can't you just use regular table salt? You can, but this is more minerals, nice uh, qualities of the ocean. Yeah. Okay. It's, There's nothing uh, you, foreign in the salt. Yeah, okay, gotcha. There's no chemicals okay. added in. And then we have a nice hot pan back there. Okay, hot pan. Put a little bit of neutral oil, salad oil. Okay. You know, most important. So the, you're going to fry it up? Everybody thinks that searing the meat seals in the juices, uh -huh. but I disagree. What does it do? Actually, what it does is it, it just lets you start to create the caramelization process. And caramel and sugar, these are things that um, give off endorphins in your brain okay. and right. make you happy and excited. That's and right. So that's, that's secret, what we do. One of the secrets to happiness. See, it's, it's nice sugar. and gentle just like that, sugar. you see? And just flip it over again. Wow. Cooking, and if we were at home, I usually grill the meat outside. Right. right. And Nancy would be so cooking. A glass of wine. And Nancy would be cooking inside. That's Very right. gentle. I'm one of those medium well people. Well, no well you can eat the outside. Okay. We, we just put a, then, well, thank you, Nancy. That's a, little, right. a little butter, a little garlic. So we're going to add some butter and little, garlic to this. Thyme. Okay. And what this does. What is, is that? Pork? That's a little bacon. Bacon. And we smear that on there. Flavor. And what that does is. It, the butter is the medium to cook it, you know, so it's, it's gentle. You cook it very gentle, and the bacon keeps the butter from turning black. Oh! Very gentle. You see, nice and gentle, you know? Secret. And this is how all the meat is cooked. You think it, you know, I worked for 10 years in restaurants, and all we would do is sear the meat, the highest possible heat, throw it in the hottest possible oven, right. cook it till it's destroyed, and then <laughs> serve it. And this way. And it wasn't until the, the, the later years. It's really the sauce. It's like cooking it. Exactly. The butter is actually all cooling the, down All the, the juices come out of the meat, go into the pan, caramelize, uh -huh. and the butter deglazes all those beautiful juices. Interesting. So you see, serenade, evening love song, James cooks with love. Oh, there you go, you know, James. Some people cook with fire. <laughs> okay, James. Spices, bamboo. Sell it, James. Sell it. Actually. <laughs> you sell it. But you have good taste in restaurants, so. Thank really. you. Thank you. We are Too bad comfort. you don't have any more room available to Right. I would come and bring oh, my boyfriend for dinner. We might be able to find something. Oh, you yeah. squeeze so me in? Definitely. <laughs> That's right. And when we're, when we're at home, we usually cook, or we usually eat very simply. So, okay. So a great accompaniment to this meat is just a salad, a simply salad. dressed with uh, citrus, some citrus dressing. You might have watched the pits, but that's okay. okay. A little citrus, a little lemon, a little lime. Oh, look at it. You're just the food all over her arm. <laughs> okay, but we got to go. Okay, a little extra. That looks yummy, though. Oh, olive More oil. spices, olive oil. There you go. Beautiful and some bread. Salad.